Hello guys, KP Shamino here with my new video for my money farm and uh, it's part 13 already and in this video we are going to White Moose Lake so that's uh, my favorite lake in the game and uh, we are going to fish with the bottom rod and we are going to fish with the, the boat, so with the kayak So, but first we are going to have a look to the net that we need to use so I need to use this net, why I need to use this net? Uh, because uh, the the lake trout trophies they go to 15 kilogram, uh, so you need to have a single weight uh, that is 15 kilogram. Otherwise, you cannot keep the trophy lake trouts. The uniques that's another story. So the big problem is that the uniques start above 15 kilogram until 22 kilogram. But if you have a look to the nets in the shop, you will see if you put here between 10 and 25. You can see you got here the stringer that I'm using. The next one is this one, but it cannot handle the fish because only 10 kilogram. The next one is only trophies. So this one can keep the uniques and not all the uniques because some uniques uh, are higher than 20 kilogram. So the first net that you can use is level 36. Therefore, I don't have a net that can keep the uniques. If it depends on me... I can buy it, but it's not in the game at this level. And waiting until level 31 is a long time to wait, because then you can go California, Michigan. So, yeah, it's not really a reason anymore why you would stay here. So, therefore, I got this stringer, but you need to get, uh, yeah, the unique. You need to release the unique lake trouts this way, but you can keep the trophies. But it's how it is, I cannot do a lot about it. Then the next one, we are going to fish out of a kayak. Why a kayak? Because uh, the boat over there that you can rent is, uh, is not so good. It's a little bit, the weight is too big. And if the fish goes away, it's very hard to follow the fish. Uh, so the best way to do it is with the trolling motor on the best boats, the front trolling motor. But yeah, the best boat is like half of a million. You cannot use it. I got one, but you cannot use it. So the best solution was the kayak. Is it worth to buy a kayak? I would say it depends. It depends how long you want to stay in Alberta. Because if you want to rent a kayak, uh, it's every in-game day, 1,900. But I think it's lower because I got premium. Uh, so if you stay around 10, 12 days or nights, because we are going to fish nights, you already paid for your kayak. I would suggest that you buy one. It's going to save you money. And later on in the game, you will use it again. Because using a boat is always a very good solution to get, with a small test, very big fish. So, you buy it, it depends what you want. So, you guys can decide it yourself. Uh, so, then, for the setup. So, I went with the level 26 setup. So, because I tested with 4.5 kg, but at the end, even if you're sitting in the boat, you still need to have somewhere a decent setup. Because the lake trout, they are very strong. They are going really quick away. And therefore, I went with this setup. So the big alley 390. The big river 5000. The braid 0.22. The sinker 75 gram. Fluorocarbon leader 0.38. And hook 2 shiners. This I normally don't do. Because braid with the fluoro leader is lowering the bite on trout too. I tested already a lot. So what do I do? I fish full fluoro. Uh, but you cannot do it on a bottom rod. Or fluoro with the fluoro leader. But I don't have access to better fluoro line. Or I need to go to level 29. Uh, so we are going to use this. But the moment that you can throw the braid out of it. Throw, uh, throw it out of it. Because it's lowering the bite not as much as pure braid. So braid leader, braid line, but it's lowering. I tested it in Alaska, I tested it here. So I never fish with this setup to four trout. It's always fluoro the full, full line. So, uh, but yeah, it works too. But be sure that if you get a chance, uh, just switch this around. Because you don't need the line. Uh, so the meters, because you're in a boat, you will go behind the fish. So that's the setup, guys. Why a bottom rod? It seems to work the best. Uh, so I went with the casting rod, but the speed was way too low. I got fish got away a couple of times because I had slack on my line. Uh, I went with the bobber, but the bite compared to a bottom rod was a lot lower. Uh, I guess they are more on the bottom. 
de, de lake trout en de, de spleek en de burbot. Uh, because uh, it's night or something. So this was the best solution uh, for the buy trade. And now we are going to start, guys. Uh, White Moose Lake. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what you need to do. So it's not that complicated. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips how you need to do it with the boat. Because there are some things that you need to do. I will show you guys it. Because it's not that you just go there, place your boat, throw it in the water. No. Uh... It's min maxing that you need to do, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit of technique that you need to have. Otherwise, you're going to fight the fish a long time too with the kayak. So, if you want to rent one, it's 1250 every day. Uh, but I guess it's around 2000 or something without premium. That's a lot of money because we are speaking here at the start. Uh, yeah, 7,000 to 10,000 currency for a full net. It takes one and a half to two hours. So that's a lot that you always need to pay around 2k. Uh, so that's, uh, what is it, 20% of your income. Uh, so it's not, it's, the rent in this game is, is very high. If, if I had a renting company that is asking money in real life, I was a really rich man, I think. For the position, be sure that you come to this position. It's very good. I went here. It's a little bit less if you go closer to the dock. So uh, minus 11, uh, minus 22. Just put a marker out that you can see it. And there are some things that you need to do. So first of all, don't put your anchor out. Lift it up that you can go around the boat. Uh, you will think now what is Shamina now saying? Of course, you need to lift the anchor. You cannot imagine how many videos that I see on the YouTube that people still got the anchor out. I can understand that maybe they want to fight it, but I don't think so. You got the anchor out, you just throw in, and the moment that you strike the fish, you think, fuck, my anchor is in the water, I need to fish this fish for the next 15 minutes. Uh, so be sure that it's out. Another technique... That is very important. So it's 50 meters deep, uh, 18 meters deep here. So you need to clip it at 18 meters. So uh, because the less line that you got, the less that you need to reel in. Uh, so you need to min max it 18 meters. Another thing that is very important, always put the nose of the kayak towards the place that you need to fish. Because a kayak cannot go sideways. So if I throw here and I got a bite, I'm going to roll around and I'm not going behind the fish. So now the fish bites, I go in a straight line with the strength of the fish to the fish. That's very important. For the days that you need to fish, so here is good. But it seems, uh, I see this, this already a long time. You can get fish in every time zone. It's a little bit better in the best time zones. Uh, but here, you will get everywhere fish. So I fish now here, but I fished at 9 p.m. too. It was decent. Here I fish too. It was decent. So you can get a lot of fish everywhere, every time zone. But I'm going to start now at 11 p.m. So you just throw in. And then you need to wait for the guys that uh, want to know when you got a bite. If this 80 meters or 90 meters is 90 meters, 90 meters, you need to strike. That's like a small... Uh, yeah, clicker or something that you can see or a trick. And now you need to wait. Sometimes it can take a little bit. Uh, so you're not going to catch 1,000 fish every night. So normally, uh, let's say around 10 fish that you can catch. So most of the time it's 2-3 burbots, 5-6 normal lake trouts and 1 or 2 trophy lake trouts. So unique, you need to throw, of course, back until your level, what was it, 31 or 32. But by then, I guess... That you will be in California or Michigan. Uh, it's possible that you stay here too. Because for me this is uh, my favorite lake in the game. So I fish so many times here. Don't ask me why I like it. It's, uh, it looks good. Uh, I cannot show you guys it. But at night it's very beautiful here. You see smoke coming out of the, the chimney. In the houses behind me. And there is the first bite. So let's wait. Here we go. Don't do anything. This is a burbot. Because... No, no, it's not a bird, but I think so. Just reel it in. Here we go. That's how simple it is. So 498. It was not a big one. And now the most cheaty things comes. So what do you need to do? You need to get back to the position every time. So what did I saw? If you want to make a U-turn with the kayak, don't push forward. They, they turn really quick. Because I was always pushing forward. And I was like, I don't get my boat back on its position. Oh. 
I need to be quick, guys. Action, server reboot. Uh oh. It's done, guys. They shut down the servers. They took the money and they are gone, the guys. Uh, I'm wondering what they are going to do. Is it maybe the new, uh, yeah, the new monster fish? In Aktuba. Wow. Beluga of, of 500 kilogram monster fish. I'm a little bit excited, guys. New content. It's not a lot, but it's new content, you know. So I'm going to position really quick my, uh, my boat. So anchor to stop the boat, and then you go again. Once again, straight line. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure what they are going to do. Is it a new monster fish or is... I don't think it's an update because normally they, they don't... I don't think that they do updates when there is an event live. Because the 4th of July is still live. But uh, yeah, Beluga. I don't think it's going to be the catfish because the catfish was already in Germany. But is uh, in uh, maybe, maybe a monster asp. That would be really cool too or a monster pike. Uh, but yeah, let's hope for the Beluga. But yeah, the main problem is, are we going to get for the Beluga money? And I'm going to try now the trick that uh, already a couple of guys said to me on the on my channel. I'm going to get like three, four rods and I'm trying to get more than one. Because I heard that it's always possible. Uh, I had it on the eel, the monster eel, what was it, the cannibal in, uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, so I had two rods out and I had two eels, but it seems that you can go four. If you got the biggest rod pot, maybe you can even go with five, but you need to have five bottom rods. And if it is the beluga, you need to have like, uh, at least uh, the shubers or what is it called? Is it the shubers? Mega shuber? No, I don't, I don't know. But, uh, I think you need to have a very decent bottom setup. And uh, why is a fish not bite in game? Maybe they already removed the fish because they need server restart. It can take some time, guys. Sometimes. So, yeah, here we go. A little bit complaining. Let's have a look. And then I'm going to end the video, guys. And I'm going uh, yeah, to wait for the server reboot. This is Burbot. But you guys know what you need to do. So thanks for watching, guys. The next part, Louisiana. So best fishing. My knowledge is a little bit higher than, uh, than the previous year. Uh, why? Because uh, yeah, I got a lot of more spots for spotted bass, for large mom bass. So I'm a, it's very strange uh, because I'm excited for Louisiana. It was in the past a very shitty, a shitty place, but with the new bite system, they make it even better. That place, and you can I think make a lot of money. It's a level 26 area. I can go with a decent net, so it's possible that we can fish in the daytime. And make a shitload of money. So thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye bye.